government to re-evaluate 2020 COVID-19 protocols. We'll have details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Tuesday, September 15th, 2020, I am Rikisha St. Louis. Government will be re-evaluating the 2020 COVID-19 protocols to focus more on boosting the hospitality sector, agriculture, and preserving livelihoods. Health Minister Honorable Nicholas Steele on Tuesday made the announcement during the government's post-cabinet media brief. He said agriculture is the biggest revenue generator at this time, with the hospitality sector being the largest consumer of local agriculture produce. The move to refocus the protocols has been discussed with stakeholders who are all optimistic that even in the midst of COVID-19, more positive benefits can be derived from the hospitality sector. Restaurants, bars and diners will be evaluated based on their activities. According to Minister Steele, the protocols will vary according to the business, what they plan to offer and the quantity. A type activity can be considered just simple sit-down dining, restaurant or bar. B type activity may be similar facility but also has uh, entertainment for, for uh, games that are being broadcast or, or, or so. But I would have me possibly be allowed to have additional seating. And then your C type activity would be the late night establishments that go a little further with respected activities but not nightclub type activities. So we're working with each and every one of them to allow them to have a clear uh, understanding of the protocols, of the restrictions uh, to each individual establishment. It allows them also to take personal responsibility for the number of people and the type of activities that they will allow in their property and allows the police and the Ministry of Health to simply monitor and enforce based on agreed upon criteria of activity and quantities. Plans are underway to revitalize the hotel sector by allowing some hotels to open while maintaining health protocols. Minister Steele said dialogue has been held to revise the existing protocols for quarantine and for testing visitors. The revised protocols will focus on testing upon entry and quarantine conditions. We are looking at uh, new protocols with respect to quarantine and testing, testing before arrival, and with uh, the objective being to allow as best as possible some more of our hotels to open while maintaining the same guiding fundamental principles, ensuring the safety of the lives of our citizens while maintaining as best as possible the livelihoods of our citizens. So we are working with those individuals and we'll be making an announcement later on this week with respect to the revised protocols for entry and the revised protocols for quarantine that would make it more, more seamless and would allow some establishments to open, as well as those Grenadians who are still looking forward to visit or return, uh, that it is, it, it, it is uh, more inviting, but still for those of us who are here, we can, will continue to feel comfortable that we remain safe. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell on Sunday announced changes to the cabinet which he deemed essential towards the realization of efficiency as a government. GIS spoke to Ministers Peter David, Yoland Bain Hosford and Kate Lewis to get their feedback on the decision and hear firsthand some of their plans under their new portfolios. Effective October 1st, Minister Peter David will be the new Minister for Agriculture forestry, lands and labor. He is optimistic that his contributions will continue to promote economic growth. It's all about the development of the country. So despite the fact that I was in foreign affairs, I was working to, to enhance the diplomatic, the uh, domestic conditions of our people. Now I have an opportunity, an opportunity that I welcome to engage with, with, with agriculture, to engage with our farmers, to engage with 
all of the persons in the sector, the young people involved, the old people involved, I, uh, the, the older people involved the, 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 in the sector, I am welcoming the opportunity to do that. The future of agriculture and the future of this country needs to find, we, it depends on us finding a way between agriculture and all of these sectors. Minister David highlighted the issue of food security as an area of priority. Food security in a general sense, I agree that we have to focus a lot on that and find ways, I think, you know, we may talk about the young people to find ways to attract young people into the sector, to make it more technological, make it more, more attractive, attractive, uh, attractive to, to, to young people. So yes, in a general sense, without any specifics and without me being oriented, I think those are things that we have to look at. But as I said, we can't do everything. Looking ahead, Minister Yolen Bain Hosford is excited about serving in the Ministry of Sports, Culture and the Arts, Cooperatives and Fisheries. She also welcomed the idea of having a legal mind in agriculture. I am looking forward to my new portfolio. I am going to give it my best shot. I know those are, as I said before, high impact areas and I have to give it my best shot in terms of, I've been look, thinking about it and ideas have started to flow already. A lot has been done in agriculture, and there's a lot more to be done in agriculture. Um, the Prime Minister said that we need to move around to get a feel and a taste of what exists, because we do not know down the line what is um, based on the, 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 the whole projection of the cabinet and, and the sort of um, nation building approach that we are taking. Changes are good. Um, I welcome the new minister to, to agriculture. I think he will do well here because I've been saying for a while that we need the expertise of a, a legal mind. Agriculture does not, people on the outside may not see what agriculture is all about. But um, from time to time, agriculture and lands, from time to time we have to use the services of legal affairs. Youth Development Minister Honorable Kate Lewis is looking forward to gain experience and guidance from Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell. She intends to improve on existing youth programs. I believe the recent cabinet reshuffle by our Prime Minister was a very strategic one and especially moving the youth development directly under his ministry, I think it's a very good move especially knowing that the youthful population of Grenada is about 60-65% and special attention has to be given and special opportunities, more sustainable opportunities has to be given to our young people. So working directly with the Prime Minister will give me that wealth of knowledge, experience that I can learn from him. We will continue our programs and projects that we have. We have the youth bees. Um, I think we need to put more focus there, the entrepreneurial aspect of our young people getting into, into entrepreneurship. And we need to you know, promote the youth bees more because how things are going, entrepreneurship will play a significant role in the sustainable development of our country. And that would be a great opportunity for our young people to tap into as well. And we will continue with all the other programs that is on our youth development agenda. This is the National Report. The news will continue after the break. The house was shaking, shaking. Then said the story we hear, babe. Crack, 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 crack. And the roof had gone. Man, I was so scared, I nearly wet myself. Only those who have lived it can truly understand the devastating fury of a hurricane's wind. The house across the road just get up and roll over. Hurricane force wind. It's a hazard. Hazards. Take control. Reduce your loss. You can hurricane proof your home. For example, Make your roof more wind resistant by using screws instead of nails in its construction. Find out more about hurricane force winds and other hazards at your local disaster office. A message from the National Disaster Management Agency and Sidera. Welcome back. Government has extended the period in which it will introduce a ban on the importation of vehicles that are older than 10 years. That announcement was made by Health Minister Honorable Nicholas Steele during the government's weekly post-cabinet media brief on Tuesday. The introduction of the ban was announced by Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell in his presentation of the 2020 budget. The decision was taken as part of efforts to protect the environment and safeguard the health of Grenadians. 
In recent years, government has placed heavy emphasis on protecting the environment and its people. And although the country has tremendously benefited financially from the importation of older vehicles, focus will be placed on the long-term impact of the economy and environment. The ban was due to take effect in July. However, due to setbacks as a result of COVID-19, the new date is December 31st, 2020. We have extended that period and that date will be now 31st of December, as of 31st of December. This was given consideration based on the fact that we've been going through a COVID period, based on the fact that, that, that many, this has posed many logistical challenges to individuals. So the date, effective date for the ban on vehicles over 10 years will be 31st of December 2020. Government will soon pass legislation to encourage individuals to purchase electric and hybrid vehicles. From September 30th, the country will implement 50% duty and tax concession on the importation of these vehicles. In essence, what was agreed is that electric and hybrid vehicles uh, will receive a 50% concession on all the import duties and taxes uh, for them based on their CIF. This is expected to take effect from the, the end of this month. That story just ended the national report for Tuesday, September 15th. Let's recap the top story. Government to re-evaluate 2020 COVID-19 protocols. On behalf of the entire news and production team here at the Government Information Service, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us. Until next time. Mm -hmm.